Hi, welcome, my name's Phil, I am the Income School student. Today we're going to be talking about some reasons why you probably shouldn't invest in Project 24. But if you pass my test and stick around, I'm going to give you some tips on how to succeed with your website when you do buy Project 24. So let's get into it. Right, the first reason I think you probably shouldn't buy Project 24 is if you don't have enough time to invest into it. If you do not even have one hour a day, this is just not going to work for you. You need to dedicate at least an hour a day, if not more. So if you can't wake up an hour earlier or go to bed an hour later or even just skip your lunch break, this is not for you. So I would say keep that money because you are never going to be able to dedicate enough time to start an online business. Okay, another reason why I think that you probably shouldn't do this is if you're the sort of person that just wants to invest no money and get a lot of money back. Um, what you're looking for is a job. So if you don't want to put any money into this uh, business, then I would say go get a part-time job. It's going to be much better for you and you'll actually get some money back. So even when it comes to little things like hosting a website, you're going to need around I don't know, 40 to $50 a month depending on the hosting service that you have. And if you want to um, pay for things like a logo, or even if you want to pay for people to do the work for you, you need to put some money into this up front. If you can't do that, I don't think this is for you. Another reason why Project 24 probably won't be for you is if you're just looking for a get rich quick scheme. This is not Project 24. And to be honest, if you're looking for that, you're probably gonna get scammed at some point. Uh, these things are not genuine, they don't really exist. So I would say stop looking for a quick buck and start looking for a real way to get an online business. Another big reason why Project 24 won't be for you is if you are just lazy. If you don't wanna put any effort into this, then you're not gonna get anything out of it. Okay, we're talking about passive income here. But what does that actually mean? That just means that you get income 24 hours a day. It doesn't mean that you don't have to do anything. In fact, the first six months of this website is gonna be a lot of work. You're actually gonna probably be working harder than you would at any other job. But all that effort that you put in today is gonna to keep working for you in the future. So if you're not willing to put in any work into writing posts or setting up a website, this is not for you. Even if you're planning to get someone to do it for you, you still need to put in some work to make sure that they haven't made any mistakes, they haven't plagiarized anything on the, uh, off of Google, and that basically they are on point and on brand. So if you're lazy, forget it, just watch TV. So hopefully what I've been talking about so far doesn't describe you as a person. And if it doesn't, check out this video which tells you more about Project 24 and exactly how I can help you be a success. Another reason why Project 24 might not be the best fit is if you're planning to launch a website in the your money, your life type niche. So this is to do with finance and health. Now Google are really cracking down on these types of niches. They only want to give traffic to the experts. So if you don't have good EAT, then you're not gonna really make it in this type of niche. And Project 24, although the methods could be used, we tend to steer away from these types of niches. They're just a little bit too saturated, and now with the new Google uh, update and the algorithm, it's just not worth your time. So if this is what you're planning to do, I'd think again. In the same breath, if you were just planning to set up a kind of a scammy website that's largely just based on selling products, um, this isn't gonna work for you. If your website is gonna be based on just Amazon Associates um, and you're just trying to squeeze every last little cent out of your users, um, I don't think Project 24 is really gonna work for you. We have a different kind of ethic. We're trying to be as helpful as we can for our users, but also make money at the same time. So if this is you, you might not find the environment that we have a good fit for you. Another reason why Project 24 might not be a good investment for you is if you're the sort of person who is always a student but never a practitioner. What I mean by this is if you spend a lot of time and effort just learning methods and listening to gurus and going to conferences and all that sort of thing, but you never actually 
put those steps into action, again, Project 24 is just going to be a waste of money. It's packed full of really useful information, all of which are actionable. But if you don't take action, what's the point? Just save that money, take your wife out or your husband out for a good meal. It's going to be money better spent. Now, anyone could buy Project 24 if they're not the sort of person that I've mentioned so far. But the type of um, marketer that actually makes it with something like Project 24 is the type of marketer who will go the extra mile. So if you're not willing to put a lot of effort into researching the best possible resource that you can and giving that to your user, or even taking the extra step and getting onto YouTube, uh, even showing your face or not showing your face, it doesn't really matter, but if you're not willing to take these extra steps, then I don't think the Project 24 method is really going to bring you success. So unless you go into it with your eyes wide open and realize you're going to have to put in a lot of effort and really push yourself, you might want to invest your money in something else. Another reason why I think probably you shouldn't go for Project 24 is if you just don't believe in yourself. If you have no faith that you can do this, then I think you might be better off keeping that money in your bank account. I'm not being harsh here, but it's all about a mindset. You need to be motivated. There is going to be a long period where it seems like nothing is happening. You've got to keep faith and keep the course and make sure that you're doing everything you can not to give up. As a very famous little green man once said, do or don't do, there is no try. So hopefully I've been describing other people so far and not you. If that's the case, head over to my website at incomeschoolstudent.com slash project24. Here I'll give you some more information about the free tools that I want to give you and also some free advice on how to contact me when you buy Project 24 later today. Okay, so you stuck around right to the bitter end, so I'm going to reward you for that and give you my biggest tip. It's all about motivation. The only way to do this is to keep motivated even when everything looks like it's going wrong. So the only way that I know how to keep motivated is to get some skin into the game. As Benjamin Hardy said, the only sure way to succeed in this business is the 100% rule. You need to put 100% in because it's easier to fail when you put 99% in than if you put 100% in. So. Even if you're worried about investing so much money into something that you don't know if it's going to work yet, I would say go into your garage, go into your home and pick something that means something important to you and sell it. Invest that money into this project, invest that money into a business that can actually provide you with a real income that can replace your current income within two years. If you do this, then you know that you're going to keep motivated to the bitter end and you're going to succeed where most people will fail. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of my future videos where I give you tips of how to be a success with Project 24.